Hello everyone, myself Imran Loon, introducing the plug and play bot, a ready to use UiPath workflow that can be integrated easily with any project across different customers, that too without any modification. Yes, you heard it right. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the reusable component which I have created using UiPath to send email with more than one attachment. Sending emails is one of the most common functionality that we come across in almost every RPA implementation. But I have seen developers struggle to configure the bot to send more than one email attachment. The uniqueness of this workflow is that it is built on the concept of robotic enterprise framework. Let us see how to use it. This is my workflow to send the email. To use this workflow, we just need to Invoke the send email.xaml file in your business specific workflow. Click on import arguments. Here, the first argument is data dictionary type. It is an optional argument. You may leave it blank or you may delete it as well. You need to pass on the config value in this argument if you are using robotic enterprise framework in your existing project. If you are not using robotic enterprise framework, no worries. You may leave it blank or you may delete it as well. Now my next argument is in underscore str email template. Here you need to pass the template file name from where the bot is going to read the content of the email to be sent as a success message. It is of string data type. The next argument is str message. It stores the runtime message that you want the bot to generate and print along with the email content. The third argument is the most important one. It's an attachment. It is array of strings data type. Here you can pass on multiple file names separated by comma. I'm storing the file name in a variable. Let me show you the variables. The str success email template variable stores the template file name of the success email message. Str exception email template variable stores the exception email message. The str runtime message stores the message I want to print at runtime that is the bot will modify the email and print the message. str input file stores the name of the input file. str result file stores the name of the result file and str audit file stores the name of the audit file. In my project repository inside data folder I have config.xlsx. The config file stores two recipients and cc recipients email address. You can add more than one email address separated by semicolon as a delimiter. So when I will run my workflow, it will read the two and cc email address from the config file in a key and value pair, which is the core concept of the RE framework. The template folder stores the success email document which has the subject of the email in a standard format and the email body. Here you can see the placeholder. This is what the bot will read at runtime and replace the placeholder value with a variable. Similarly, we have exception email template. Bot is going to read the config file from init all settings XAML file, which is stored inside framework folder of my project repository. This workflow will work very well as a standalone or you may integrate it with any project whether it has the RE framework or not. Let us see the execution now. Execution completed successfully. Here you can see the email sent by the bot. The subject is read from the email template. There are three attachments and the email body. The value over here PR0001 generated by the bot at runtime. Thank you for watching.